Hey up team, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the first time Iron Man progress videos. This is the series where I play the Iron Man game mode for the first time and try and make myself not look like a complete moron. If you've seen the last 25 episodes you know that that's not going so well. Last episode we got up to 77 runecrafting by spamming Guardians of the Rift. We got incredibly lucky and we got the Guardians of the Rift pet at like 530 pulls or something ridiculous. We got the full runecrafting outfit and we got 77 runecrafting like we set out to do. This episode we're going to attempt to try and get the fire cape. Um, probably not going to go very well and it's going to piss me off quite a lot I would imagine considering I couldn't even get the fire cape on the league when you've got like massively overpowered combat relics so yeah this should be an interesting video and hopefully by the end of it we have a cool looking cape um, you currently join me as I've been AFKing at Motherlode Mine uh, I'm up to 79 mining now nearly at level 80 and the reason why I'm at Motherlode Mine is because I wanted 100 golden nuggets so I can buy the coal bag so now that we've got the coal bag we can go to the blast furnace and level up smithing um, because smithing is one of the last requirements that I need for Song of the Elves as well as Dragon Slayer 2 and stuff like that. We need 70 um, and the coal bag makes Blast Furnace a lot, lot easier. Um, and now we're just going to, I don't really know what we're going to do, just mess around for a bit and I'm going to try and amp myself up uh, to go do the fight caves. So one of the first things we're going to do in this video is go and try and get the zombie axe again. Uh, a couple of videos ago I was bursting armoured zombies and we never actually got the zombie axe so we're going to go back and uh, try and get it, get some magic XP um, and hopefully we get the axe so we can replace the D-SIM. I don't know if this is ever going to get to the point where it's not ridiculously satisfying. I mean in, fa in fact it's actually probably going to get more satisfying like the high level burst spells like when I get to the barrages and stuff fucking hell XP drops are gonna be nuts oh and that's a hit points level didn't realize that was coming up to be fair and we're now combat level 97 good stuff this is probably like really common knowledge by now but these things shit out like mid-level herbs like ranas irrits qualms absolutely shit them out and just as an update on the kill count we've just gone past 800 we're on 806 officially dry which isn't it's not a bad thing at all really we're uh cruising through on the old uh magic levels getting a shitload of experience so i can't complain at all and that should be 77 magic we can now cast Super Glass Make, which is uh, one of the main goals for the account. Obviously to get the, uh, well, when I set the goal, I was on like 66 crafting, um, and it was to help us to get 70 crafting, but the Guardians of the Rift little session that we did got us up to 69, so not too much of a big deal, but still really nice to have, um, especially for like getting to the higher crafting levels. Uh, making molten glass with super glass makes so so then just a cheeky little update i realized the last few clips have literally been me doing the exact same thing um but we're now up to 1324 armored zombies killed uh, we've had 40 ran out of weeds which is pretty good like i was saying that these fucking zombies just shit out all sorts of herbs Oh, I also should pr probably mention that I'm now on defensive casting. Uh, just figured if I'm going to be here for a while, may as well get some free defense XP as well. Um, doesn't really affect the uh, the efficiency of me killing these, so it's essentially just free XP. Uh, didn't record it because I'm a dickhead, uh, but that's 78 magic. Uh, what are we at? Like 1,400 fucking thingamabobs. And a couple of kills later, that's a defense level, 71 defense. Fucking hell, we finally got it. What's the KC? 1,591. And we got it. Good shit. Obviously, the astute uh, onlookers, the, the those of you with a keen eye, will notice that I don't actually even have the smithing requirement to make the axe, well, the broken axe, into the regular axe. So... Uh, I guess we're off to Blast Furnace. So before we go to Blast Furnace, uh, because I'm going to want to buy some gold or from there, I'm going to just go through and alk all of the things in my alk tab. Don't really know why they're in there. They don't alk very much, uh, but we'll do it anyway. Fuck it. I'm uh, going to alk all this stuff and make a bit of money back and then go and, uh, yeah, go to the, uh, the Blast Furnace. 
buy some gold ore, then smelt loads of gold. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I don't just like standing around and alking. I like to do a bit of agility at the same time. I just feel like it just makes agility a lot easier and I could always do with agility XP. So we're going to run some laps and uh, do some alking. And with this jump down, that's 72 agility. And we can now do floor 3 of the Hallowed Sepulchre. And we also have 1725 total level. Starting at 60, well, nearly 66 smithing. There's 66. And that's 67 smithing. So I mentioned it in the last video as well, but if you can hear tweeting in the background, we are still fostering a little chick. Um, and it's doing really well, if you cared. I don't know if you did, but yeah, if you can hear tweeting, you're not going mental. It's just the little chicks. Uh, yeah, they fucking stink. <laughs> and now the plan is to do a lot of mithril so we can go to Giant's Foundry and do steel myth combinations. Um, I'm using the core bag now, which is one of the main reasons why I got it from Motherlord Mine. It's because it makes uh, Blast Furnace just ridiculously easy um, and more efficient. And 68 smithing. And 69 smithing. And with this hand in, that's going to be... 70 smithing get in uh i'm pretty sure outside of her blow we've got all the uh, quest requirements we need for like the majority of the quests now um, i think her blow and oh, and one crafting level and then we've got all the uh quest requirements for like all the fucking quests we can now smell adamantite get in and just finished up a little hard casket that i had in the bank and let's hope for some god dehyde before the fight caves Uh, right, well that's a unique anyway and a master clue, cool, good stuff. And before I forget, we're going to go and repair the zombie axe, because um, I can guarantee you that I got 70 smithing to be able to repair it, and I can guarantee you I would just fucking forget about it, so while it's on my mind, I'm going to go and do that now. Nice. So as a little bit of preparation for the fight caves then, I'm just going to make some diamond bolts E. Uh, just for Jad and potentially the mages, uh, just to help me out a little bit. Um, I've only got 175 Addy bolts. Uh, I don't actually even know where I got them from. So hopefully that's enough uh, for at least one attempt, but we'll see. And yeah, uh, after this I'm going to buy some more stuff to make some more broad bolts. Uh, and then yeah, I'll go through the setup that I'm going to go with. Uh, and hopefully I don't plank. I think this might be the first time in the history of me playing this game that I've ever actually used the Enchant Crossbow Bolt spell. So, first time for everything, I suppose. And just finishing up the 2,000 extra broad bolts then. Uh, after this, I'll probably have like 3,000, which is more than enough. Oh, and that's the uh, 66 fletching as well. I wasn't even paying attention. So then, this, apologies for the traffic, by the way. I don't actually live on a road. I'm not actually playing on the street but it fucking sounds like it is uh, this is the setup that we're going for then slayer helm obviously Ava's holy symbol broad bolts with a diamond bolts e switch for jad damage book black dehyde body and legs rcb barrows gloves bandos dehyde boots and the exploring and then shitload of prayer potions a few tuna potatoes because they're pretty good food and yeah the diamond bolts e so this is the little setup that we're going with hopefully i don't shit the bed probably will um, i'm probably going to go and watch a youtube video of the uh, of the caves before i actually go in but yeah now is the time we're going in we're going in oh, I, I have no words really i'm like i'm trying to like big myself up but it's not going very well so we're gonna give it a go it's okay if i don't do it i don't expect to do it first time but uh yeah let's uh let's do this right so that's wave 13 done uh i had to eat one food already which isn't great to be honest i'm not massively confident to be honest team i'm not gonna lie to you these waves are fine it's when the uh the major and the ranger spawn at the same time that's when i start shitting myself i don't know if you can hear me but i've opted to put some relaxing piano music on to try and calm the nerves a little bit uh, i hope you can hear me otherwise this clip is completely fucking pointless 
Uh, but yeah, we're chilling out to the max. It's not looking good, team. Wave 30, I've only got four food left. I'm at 49 health. Uh, yeah, I took a hit from a... A couple of hits from the melee blokes. I took a hit from the fucking ranger somehow. I don't even know how I did that. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's not going well. I think I might need divine intervention at this point. I think this is what used to fucking do me over on the league. And apologies, by the way. I've got game sound on just so I remember to have it on for Jad. Um, is it just takes so long to kill these mages that it just drains the shit out of your prayer? Um, if I don't do this attempt, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get these mages down a bit quicker because these are just like the bane of my fucking life. Update then, I've just gone past the halfway point and the mage range combo, like as I suspected, has fucked me in the ass. Uh, and I've only got one tuna potato left, so... Yeah, very good. Oh team, it's really not looking good, chief. Fucking hell. I misclicked and took a fucking melee hit from the from the uh, major and then I, then I took one from the fucking melee, so I think it's GG's. 70 minutes of my fucking life down the shit pan because I don't know how to click properly. I think this is the end. I've got a I've got a plan for the next attempt anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go get the crystal shit. Yeah, there we go. Fucking hell! <sighs> Thanks for the tockle, you. C well, we failed the slayer task, uh, so and I'm not gonna make another attempt until we get another task for it because I need all the help I can get. Um, but the plan for the next time is to bring a couple less prayer potions, a bit more food, bring the crystal shield as an offhand. Uh, slot instead of the prayer book uh, just to help with the damage that you take from the rangers and yeah uh, we go again when we get another task um, many apologies to those of you who had faith in me clearly I am a massive shit lord so she's just given us a black demons task and we're going to try out our uh, zombie axe <sighs> I really really should just block black demons at 73 slayer uh yeah, I fucking hate black demons, but this uh, zombie axe is pretty fucking great, to be honest. It fucking slaps. As you can see. And another hard clue. Load of bollocks. Right, so here's the situation. I got another Slayer task from Neve. She gave me more black demons, and to be honest, I can't be fucking arsed to do it. So, I'm going to get 70 crafting by doing super glass make. And, uh, well, crafting the, the molten glass into stuff if I need to. So, this will be fun. And I'm doing the 3 to 18 method just to maximise the amount of glass that I actually get. Um, even though you do have to pick up all the glass from the floor, like the excess. So, with the uh, 4,646... Uh, molten glass I'm gonna spend a considerable amount of time blowing it into unpowered staff orbs um, I could do it into lantern lenses for a little bit more XP but uh, unpowered staff orbs have a use outside of just crafting XP obviously you can charge them for magic XP and then attach them to battle staffs and then alk them uh, so they're just more useful in general not saying that I actually will go through and do that but if ever in the future I do want to do it um, I feel like it's probably just better to have a load of these. So yeah, I'm going to just do this for, well, 4,646 molten glass. So, <laughs> And that's 70 crafting. Get in. And 71 crafting. And 72 crafting. So I've randomly decided to start doing a taste of hope. Uh, I've never done this quest before, so it'll be pretty interesting. Um, I should probably stop saying that I've never done this quest before because I've already been through the, all the quests that I have left on this account I have never done. Um, but yeah, we're doing this. Don't ask me why I'm doing this now. I just saw it on my quest list and thought I may as well start it, so here we are. Um, I fucking hate Mauritania, so the, the quicker I get all of these quests out of the way, the better in my opinion. So let's talk to Garth and start this quest the worst part about this whole quest series is having to fucking navigate this whatever it is maya ditch having to navigate all this shit 
so I think I've got to fight something now, which is interesting. Apparently you can save spot the first boss, uh, and then you have to hit the second one. And I've got a little bit of food for once, so I might have to flinch it. I don't know. I don't know anything about this quest. What in sweet holy Jesus is that? Uh, yeah, you can just save spot it. I quite literally did fuck all damage to that then. Shout out to uh, Cephalatis. Syphilis. <laughs> just crafted my first Evandis flail then looking like a fucking bad man honestly right so as I've mentioned I don't know what the fuck's happening in this quest and I don't know how this boss fight's gonna go so this is my inventory super attack super strength three prayer potions shitload of food and a holy wrench uh, and a garlic I don't know if that makes a difference but I'm taking one uh, yeah let's uh Let's attempt this shit. Apparently attacks with melee and range, so... I will say, this weapon is goofy. So fucking goofy. To be fair, I think it's going pretty well. And there we go, he's fucking deered. Sit down, little bitch boy. And that's a taste of hope completed. That's one quest point. We get the flail, dragon's medallion, and a tome of experience. Up to 266 quest points. Yaw, that's going in her blow. And it's going in her blow again. And it's going in her blow again. Fuck it, while I'm here, I may as well start Sins of the Father. Um, I've just had a little Google, and apparently uh, the final boss of this is absolutely nuts to try and kill, so I'll probably get up to that point and just fail repeatedly. It's making me a little bit nervous that it says kill Croy, and I don't know if Croy's a vampire or... Croy is a vampire, of course he fucking is. Why do I insist on doing these fucking quests in Graceful? It's like so unnecessary. For fuck's sake. Just got the uh, new drip. Oh, I can't even wear it yet. That's awkward. Wasted clip. <laughs> I'm sad that I'm killing this bloke. I quite liked him. I think he's got a cool style. And sit the fuck down. And now we're just in the process of making some kind of weapon, I imagine, right? Fuck knows. God, blimey. Looks like a big fucking boomerang or something. Definitely doesn't look like a sickle. It actually looks a little bit like a dolphin. Right, here we go, we're going to try Vanstrom Klaus, probably going to get absolutely bummed by him, but it is what it is, going to give him a good old attempt. Uh, this is the invent, and this is the gear that I'm running. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's enough. Uh, I've just watched a little guide on it, so should be okay, but we all know that my track record with uh, PVM is not very good, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, it's gone really well. I literally got, I did, what, 40 damage to him? Not even. 35 damage to him and died. <laughs> Fucking hell. Second attempt seems to be going a little bit better, but I don't want to jinx it, so I'm going to stop recording. <sighs> Rip. My, uh, I mean, I can't blame the graphic settings, but I couldn't see the shadows on the floor for the lightning strike, so. <sighs> R.I.P. Got to change that. <laughs> got to change that. Got him to, uh phase two though which is pretty positive right come on game fucking don't do this to me i should have him though to be fair i can actually see the shadows now which is good change my uh brightness settings and there we go that's uh, sins of the father done oh and that's sins of the father two quest points access to dark my a tome of experience access to blisterwood equipment Draken's medallion teleport to dark Mayor. we also get the hallowed sepulchre sepulchre the ability to craft blood runes and uh the dale essence mine uh so yeah and the experience tomes are all going into herblaw and that's 69 herblaw nice so it's been a couple of days since I have played properly, um, and definitely a couple of days since I've recorded anything. Um, I have just been cooking uh, the Karam ones, uh, up to 79 cooking now. I don't know if I've got any other levels since I've not recorded, uh, but we're going to be doing Land of the Goblins. Uh, right, so I've got my uh, eel, and I'm going to continue with the quest. I don't actually know if these eels randomly just cook after a certain amount of time. I feel like I caught one, didn't cook it, and but then it ended up being cooked anyway. So just realised that once again I've not brought any fucking food. So, oh, there's a bank. Never mind, I'm fine. So I fucked about changing my outfit 500 times, getting all these keys, and now we're going to unlock the door. And there we go, that's all of them killed. Uh, cool, got to go back to Lumbridge. Shit. Wow, I mean, what an absolute paradise. <laughs> Jesus.
Fucking hell, Zanik's been absolutely yeeted. I'll find you, Zanik. Do we really care that much? And that's Land of the Goblins completed. Two quest points, 8k agility, herb, thieving and fishing XP. And we're up to 270 quest points. Seeing as though we're on a little bit of a questing spree, we're going to do Grim Tales now. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason as to the uh, the way I'm doing these quests. I'm just looking at the, the, uh, the quests that I have left and just randomly picking them. Uh, I know I need to do Monkey Madness too. Um, at some point, but you know, I'll get to that eventually. I love this game. Why am I telling a fucking bedtime story to a griffin? How, what, who, what fucking acid trip was someone on when they made this? And this isn't even the like weirdest thing in this game either. It's just another, just another piece of the uh, fucked up puzzle that is this game. You know, I've played this game for a very long time and I always wondered what the fuck this building actually was and that woman who like, is there that woman? Me, me, me as, yeah, her. Wondered who the f that was, uh, but turns out it's just part of this quest. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm just gonna attack him with piety and hope I kill him before he kills me. Turns out I can't kill him before he kills me. So I'm uh, gonna read a guide. <laughs> Fucking hell! Apparently you're supposed to use range to kill him. So that's probably where I was going wrong. Turns out ranging him is the uh, is the play. There we go. He did, I think. Apparently he's not dead. What the fuck? Hello? There we go. I don't know what happened then, but uh, he's dead now, so. Ah, uh, that's the completion of Grim Tales. We get the Dwarven Helmet, one quest point, 60,000 woodcutting, 25,000 agility and thieving, 15k herbloth, 10k farming, 5k hit points, and we're up to 271 quest points. No, oh, and that's a woodcutting level. Get in. And now we're gearing up to go and do a kingdom divided. Probably should have done this quest a long time ago. Um, I did it on the league, and it was a bit of a bitch. Uh, so hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get it done. So just about to start the first boss of this quest, the Judge of Yammer. Uh, from what I remember, you've got to run along a bridge and dodge fire, and then hit it in the face. Um, I was absolutely shit at this on the league. So I don't have much hope for me being able to do it now, um, but hopefully if I take it slow and don't panic, I should be okay. Uh, but I, Im <laughs> I imagine this is probably going to take me more than one attempt. Uh, yeah, I got hit by the fire a couple of times, but I seem to be hitting quite well, so I can't complain really. Well, I didn't get hit at all then. God, I'm a fucking god at this game. Someone sign me up. Game's fucking easy. Oh, she did as fuck, and she's been played with by this bald man. Right, gotta kill Zamfa now, and let's be honest, uh, I don't fucking remember how to do this, so this is gonna be fantastic. It's going pretty well, to be fair. I can't complain at all. This phase is the worst one, but you either walk backwards and forwards, or you just run around and don't stand still, essentially. Um... But yeah, that should be it, I think. I should kill it in this uh, this little phase now. And then she fucking one-shots you as part of the quest. It's all good. You haven't actually died. And then two big, brolic fucking lizard men come and uh, fondle, you, fondle your ghoulies. And finally, after running around like an absolute asshole for the past 25 minutes, uh, that's Kingdom Divided complete. Thank God that's out of the way. That's uh, two quest points, Book of the Dead, Antique Lamp, Karend Castle Respawn Point, and we get more RK spells, up to 273 quest points. And then classically, the XP Lamp is going on her blow. So the next quest on the list, um, I'm working down the quest helper list, the optimal Iron Man quest. So that's how things are working. The next quest on the list is Swan Song, and we need mist runes for that, so I'm gonna go and make some mist runes. I've got my runecrafting outfit on, and yeah, then we're gonna crack on and do Swan Song. Wise old man really do be fucking just killing absolutely everything. One-shotting stuff, by the way. One absolute fucking legend. Oh, hell yeah, look at this fucking badass army of zombies, skeletons, whatever the fuck it is. God, it's like Ride of the Rohirrim. And the final boss, uh, I've got fuck all prayer and uh, two pieces of food, so once again I'm the least prepared person in the entire world. 
And that's completion of Swan Song. Two quest points, 50,000 fishing XP, 15,000 magic XP, 10,000 prayer XP, 25,000 coins, access to the Piscatorius fishing colony so we can fish monkfish, and we're up to 275 quest points. Next on the list then is Dream Mentor. Why the fuck do I have to give this bloke some like positive affirmations as part of this quest? I'd li I I don't know this man and I'm just throwing compliments at him. Like, can he not see that I've just been really fake and that I genuinely don't give a shit? <laughs> uh, on whether... <laughs> on whether we have to amputate your legs or not. Fuck, I really want to play... Oh. God, this game is great. <laughs> How the fuck has my man got better gear than me? What's that all about? Like, hello? Right, so this is the loadout I'm going for for these four bosses. You can't use prayer while fighting them. Uh, full of Karambwans and just tank gear because apparently you just hit through, like hit, hit them anyway even if you're wearing tank gear. So hopefully should be okay. Alright, that's the first one down. You can safe spot this one apparently if you just stand here. So let's do that. It's not gone too badly to be fair this. I think this is the last boss. This is the uh, fourth version of it anyway. This is just more annoying than anything, but there we are, it's dead. This little bitch didn't actually do anything. Wow. So heroic. And that's the completion of Dream Mentor. Two quest points, we've got more lunar spells, 15,000 hit points XP, 10k magic XP, and a dreamy lamp. Putting the lamp into range, don't really matter to be honest, but you know. 15k more range XP is better than nothing. Why on earth is this not a weapon that you can actually use? Bow sword. Fuck yeah, that'd be well cool. I'm all about that life. This is a really short quest. Like This is the last step of the quest. I expected it to be more complicated than this. Uh, and for some reason, we're telling this old bastard. Or this old codger. Uh, that we've fucked up. And for some reason, we've... Uh, you know created a bow sword that is just out and about in the world now and some mad mad bastards running around cutting people up with it but that's devious minds one quest point six and a half k smithing five k fletching five k runecraft 278 quest points next up is the path of glufry uh which is a relatively new quest i think uh, i think it probably came out like a year ago or something like that I can already tell this is going to be one of those quests where I'm just very thankful that I've got a quest helper. I, oh, I'm so shit at puzzles, it's ridiculous. I hope there's not too many, and I hope, if there is, that the quest helper's got my back. It looks like it does. Oh, fucking hell, it's these shapes again from that other quest. Oh, no. Please don't make me do more maths. Fucking hell. I think it's doing it for me. Please, Lord. Don't make me do this. Oh, thank fuck. Thank God it does it for you. My guy's having a great time. Fucking hell, what kind of face is that that he's pulling? Who's fucking t tickling his fucking ghoulies? Uh, that's the Path of Glufry completed. Uh, I didn't think it was going to end there, but that's alright. We got uh, two quest points, access to that dungeon that we were just in, uh, 30k strength, 20k slayer, 5k thieving, 5k magic, up to 280 quest points. And we also get uh, four XP lamps. Uh, and they're all going onto Herb Law. Oh no, they're not. They're going into uh, what it fucking tells me they're going into. So Got a hard clue from the warped creatures. And it was the longest hard clue I've ever fucking done. Uh, the maximum amount of steps. What an asshole. Anyway, here is the casket. Absolutely fuck all. Lovely. Just been doing some uh, fallen star mining, got a uh, hard clue geode, did the hard clue, here's the casket. Hey, amulet of glory, get in, we can use that, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a good upgrade. Means we don't have to get the uh, crafting level for it, or the hunter level to catch an impling for it, so that's uh, fucking good going for me. So to end the video off I've got two more caskets to open one hard and one medium and as you can see by my, my inventory uh, I'm going to be mining stardust for a while. Uh, I made a community post but I got a new job and I don't really play as much as I you know, used to do 
Um, so yeah, I'm mining Stardust for mining XP and banked crafting XP in the form of gems. But anyway, hard and medium clue, let's do it. Range boots please. Uh, spike manacles. Cool. Not range boots though, is it? Bastard. And climbing boots G, that's pretty good. And the hard casket then. Red DI body T. So then team, like I said, this is the end of the video. It's like 30 minutes long, which is pretty mental. I also apologize for framing the video like I was gonna do the fight caves and yeah, I failed and decided that that shit isn't for me. Uh, mainly because I want to do it with a Slayer task and I got a Black Demons task. And the plan originally was to do crafting to 70, get Monkey Madness 2 done, do that Black Demons task and then search for a fucking um, Fight Caves task. That didn't happen and we ended up just doing a shitload of quests. Um, we only have 10 more quests left to do. Um, Annoyingly, they are like the most hard quests in the game, with probably the exception of this, maybe. Um, but what the fuck do I know? Like I said many times, I've not done these quests before. Um, but yeah, a decent amount of progress made in the video today in terms of account progression and just quests in general. Um, and as I mentioned in the last clip as well, I'm just mining Stardust. Um, I basically go to work from 9 to 5, come back and mine Stardust. Um, I've not really been doing anything else for the past week and a bit. This video, I started recording this video on the 2nd of July 2024 and it's currently the 19th of July 2024 so it's been like two and a bit weeks of, you know, progress I guess. Um, but yeah, I apologise for the inconsistency of the videos but I am gonna, I am gonna stop apologising for it now because you all know uh, what's going on. And yeah, real life takes precedent over this silly, silly game. Uh, don't worry, I will still be playing and recording, but the videos will be sporadic at best. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, team. Ending this video at 17.43 total. And yeah, cheers, team.